today we are looking at power against sexual perversion power against sexual perversion the bible admonishes that we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil in second corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices we are in the last days and the enemy is using addiction to fornication adultery masturbation sex and other sex related sins to ensnare to cage to imprison to bewitch and lead millions of souls to destruction ignorance of this truth as well as the refusal to teach and frontally address this problem has brought intense damage to families churches and nations across the globe obviously these addictions are the works of the devil we as christians must stop them and their victims must be delivered in first corinthians chapter 6 from verse 15 to 18 first corinthians chapter 6 15 to 18 know ye not that your bodies are the members of christ shall i then take the members of christ and make them the members of an allot god forbid what know ye not that he which is joined to an allot is one body for two selfish shall be one flesh but it that is joined unto the lord is one spirit flee fornication every sin that a man doeth is without the body but you that committed fornication sinned against his own body fornication is consensual sexual intercourse between two persons who are not married to each other fornication is a voluntary sexual intercourse outside marriage fornication is a word for sex especially sex that takes place outside of marriage fornication is an action of having sex with someone you are not married to the bible tells us in first peter chapter 2 verse 11 dearly beloved i beseech you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts abstain from fleshly lusts abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul one of these is masturbation masturbation is the stimulation of the genitals with the hands for sexual pleasure or with an object masturbation is a simulation or manipulation of one's own genitals especially to orgasm and to sexual self-gratification masturbation is the act of touching or rubbing your sexual organs in order to give yourself sexual pleasure masturbation means stimulating the genitals or other areas of your body for pleasure it is self simulation of the genitals to achieve sexual arousal and pleasure masturbation is the act of giving yourself sexual pleasure by rubbing your organs like fornication and masturbation lust is another problem lust is a manifestation of man's carnal nature it leads to the filthiness and uncleanliness of the body soul and spirit therefore you should avoid it in hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 to 16 hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 to 16 for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin and us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need loss is a big problem which causes serious trouble when it is fully matured lost is having a strong sexual desire for another person a strong sexual desire for another person lost is an unbridled sexual desire lost is uncontrolled sexual desire lost 
is a strong desire or craving for sex. Lust is an inordinate desire for sexual pleasure. Lust is a feeling that alters the reactions in your brain, in your body. Lust is sinful longing and unrestrained sexual craving. Are you guilty of this? You need to repent. Fornication is an act of disobedience. It is a sin which attracts great consequences. You will do well to avoid this sinful act. The Bible says everything that a man does is without the body. But fornication, you are using your body. When you engage in fornication, there are plenty of spiritual dangers. There is soul time and soul fragmentation. You join your soul with the person you are sleeping with and you fragment your soul and scatter them all over the place. It is a sin against one's own body. It is a defilement of God's temple. Loss, fornication, brings about spiritual and physical death. It brings spiritual barrenness, lack of fruitfulness, lack of promotion. Your destiny can be stolen and destroyed through sex. Just like it happened to Reuben, you become victim of wasted dreams and visions. But then your punishment is inevitable. Your punishment is inevitable. Look at the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 27. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. The punishment is inevitable. If you engage in fornication, you create your own wounds. You create your own wounds, which is a very major tragedy when you are the one wounding yourself. In Proverbs chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 33, so a wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. You will create your own wounds. Then you will destroy yourself in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 32. But whosoever committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyed his own soul. You destroy your own soul. May you not destroy your own soul in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you not be a tool of personal destruction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you engage in fornication, you will find dishonor and disgrace. The same Proverbs chapter 6 verse 33, a wound and dishonor shall he get. You will lose everything, for jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore will not spare in the day of vengeance. Proverbs 6, 34. This sin, sexual sin, separates a person from God. It endangers your physical body. It damages the emotion of man. It damages and destroys marriages. It brings divine judgment. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4, Hebrews 13 4 says, Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed on the field. But all mongers and adulterers, God will judge. It brings divine judgment. It will expose you to different kinds of diseases. It leads to transfer of demons. It makes you to lose God's blessings. And most importantly, it will lead you to hell. You must avoid this sin by all means. Please note the following hard facts by masturbation. It doesn't matter whether you agree or you do not agree. Any minister 
who has experience in deliverance who understand what we are saying here. Masturbation is actually sex with demons. But masturbation is a spirit. Also, masturbation can be inherited from generation to generation. The purpose is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It defies and destroys the temple of the Lord. Masturbation makes human beings an animal. And it's a terrible thing. It is very, very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Dangers involved in masturbation includes guilt, an opening in your life for the free operation of demons, invitation of spirit husband and wives. It will negatively affect your consecration to God because it will pollute your mind and make it unstable, unclean to receive from heaven. It causes late marriages, it causes bad luck, it brings disappointment, it will definitely expose you to spiritual attacks. It can shut open doors against you. It can make you lazy spiritually. It can allow you to possess all kinds of other sexual spirits. It causes backwardness. Listen, beloved, there are danger signs and alerts, red light alert. If your feelings are only sexual in nature, there is a problem you need to solve. If someone becomes less attractive after you recognize their flaws, there is a problem you need to solve. If you do not have any desire to build a deeper connection with the person you are experiencing loss towards, there is a problem. If the relationship is always short-lived after you have satisfied yourself, as a problem. If you are trying to become intimate with persons who inspired sexual feelings in you, that's a problem. If you are extremely att attracted to somebody on a physical level and you know you are not supposed to be to, to do so, that's a problem. If you always desire to touch somebody physically and frequently, somebody of the opposite sex, that's a problem. You always just want to have sex with the person. You don't want to stay, you don't want to spend time with the person, just sex and go away. That's a problem. If you are consumed with possession, that's a problem. You dwell in fantasy, sexual fantasy, that's a problem. Your thinking, your meeting is all about sex, that's a problem. Every one of your discussion is always about sex, that's a problem. You need to take immediate action. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, from verse 1. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 1. Furthermore, then, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as you have received of us, how you ought to walk and to please God. So you will abound more and more. For you know what instruction we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles, who do not know God. That no one transgress and wrong his brother in this matter, because the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you before Anne, and solemnly warned you. For God has not called us to impurity, but in holiness, and but in holiness. Therefore, whosoever disregards this, disregards not man, but God who gives his Holy Spirit to you. There is plenty of danger if you don't cure yourself from the school of lust. Guilty conscience, unwanted pregnancies, social stigmatization and disregard, psychological trauma, onset of strange disorders, loss of opportunity to marry one's best choice of your husband or wife, Possibility of being a second wife or remaining a single parent as in most African countries. Possibility of loss of baby or one's life during the gestation period of childbirth. Being forced into undesirable or early marriage. Possibility of infection. But the Bible provides effective ways 
out of the problem of sexual perversion. Number one, surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Two, bring genuine repentance to the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask him for forgiveness. Number three, confess all known sins and turn away from them. Number four, engage in serious deliverance prayers. Number five, ask God to fill you afresh with the Holy Spirit. Number six, study the Word of God daily. Fast and pray to put the flesh under subjection to the Word of God and pray without ceasing. Number seven, constantly praise, worship, and thank God for His grace and mercies. And number eight, join a Bible-believing and Spirit-filled church and serve God in your capacity. Number nine is ask God for help. And number ten, resist and flee. Resist and flee. The Bible says flee from all appearances of evil. God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you are listening to me, and you are not born again, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. By say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that should pray with me, I congratulate you. We're going to pray now. And let's pray from our heart. Holy Spirit, overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit Overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. Amen. Say, so Spirit of the living God, move me from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God, move me from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God, move me from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God, move me from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every anchor of mind confusion Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every anchor of mind confusion. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every anchor of mind confusion. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. Amen. The so spirit of patience. Spirit of humility. Overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus. Spirit of patience, spirit of humility, overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus. Spirit of patience, spirit of humility, overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus. Spirit of patience, spirit of humility, overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus. Spirit of patience, spirit of humility, overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus. Spirit of patience, spirit of humility, overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus. Spirit of patience, spirit of humility, overshadow my heart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I fire back every arrow of depression and rejection in the name of Jesus. I fire back every arrow of rejection and depression in the name of Jesus. I fire back every arrow of rejection and depression in the name of Jesus. I fire back every arrow of rejection and depression in the name of Jesus. I fire back every arrow of rejection and depression in the name of Jesus. I fire back every arrow of rejection and depression in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So my father, my father, my father. Break every idol in my heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. 
my father, my father, my father, break every idol in my heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. My father, my father, my father, break every idol in my heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. My father, my father, my father, break every idol in my heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. My father, my father, my father, break every idol in my heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. My father, my father, my father, break every idol in my heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. My father, my father, my father, break every idol in my heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. My father, my father, my father, break every idol in my heart by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Holy Ghost, move me forward in a new way. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost moving forward in a new way. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost moving forward in a new way. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost moving forward in a new way. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this now loud and clear? Power of discernment overshadow me in the name of Jesus. Power of discernment overshadow